Hey guys, Shushi Gaming here with another video, this time on Battlefield Hardline. I've just got in the beater and I've been playing for quite a while and I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what I think is the best setup in the game at the moment. And while the gameplay plays, I just want to give you my opinion on the game and what I think of it overall. Okay, let's get into it. What I believe is the best setup is the operator with the AKM and uh, the survivalist gadget so that you can bring yourself back to life. The AKM also does a huge amount of damage per hit. I think it's about 34 max. Yeah, it's 34. And that's like more than double if you hit them in the head. So it really, really gives you a lot of killing power, especially at close range. First, I'd like to just say a quick few things about the game, in my opinion. Firstly, it is a lot like Battlefield 4. Yes, I know a lot of people have noticed this, and a lot of people are not very happy about it. Because EA have kind of left Battlefield 4 unpatched, and it's still really buggy. Well, they've just made a new game hardline, and they're going to charge an extra, I don't know, 60 or $50 for it. So a lot of people are unhappy about that, and it is kind of a problem. That's why I'm saying definitely don't buy the game until you've tried it. Battlefield Hotline definitely isn't the right move by EA either. Can you remember Battlefield 4 on launch? How buggy it was? And how much of a mess the netcode was? It was really horrible and hard to play. This game will just put more of a punch in EA's reputation because it's essentially the same thing, just been reskinned or remodded and reworked a bit to match the Battlefield series. However, there are a lot of great things about the game that we should definitely not leave untouched. The first thing that comes to mind when I think of this is the smoother gunplay in the game and the better vehicle mechanics. The vehicle mechanics are a lot smoother than previous Battlefield games. It feels like they can actually go over rubble and don't get stuck as much. In terms of gunplay, the guns feel a lot smoother and more responsive when they're aiming down the sight. The second thing I really like about the game is the new gadgets. They feel a lot more unique than previous Battlefield games. Like the operator class gets a gadget called the survivalist which is basically something that brings him back to life as long as he hasn't taken headshot damage when he died, explosive damage or fall damage. He can actually just revive himself and come back on full health. However I do believe this gadget's a bit op and I think EA will nerf it eventually. Or more visceral. The second thing is the melee options. You can still pick the knife which is an instant kill. But you can now get melees like the police baton and the bat, which when you take the person down, you can interrogate them to get information about the map. This tells you where some of the players are on the map, I think it's all of the players overall, for about 15 seconds. This is really OP I think as well, and I think Visceral will definitely look into um, debuffing this and not making this overpowered. And the third thing I really like about Hardline is that the vehicles don't feel as overpowered as in previous Battlefield games. Yes, in Battlefield 3 and 4 they are quite fun, and if you're that type of player, you should definitely stick to Battlefield 4. However, Hardline feels more FPS-like, and you don't get as many vehicles overall. It feels more like an arcade shooter that's really fun. The vehicles are mostly for transport in this game, and don't feel as OP as the other vehicles that were in Battlefield 4 and 3. There's no tanks, there's just cars and transport vehicles that can ride you around the map. There is some things like tanks, which are basically some heavily armored trucks that you can shoot out the top of, but it doesn't feel nearly as overpowered as in previous Battlefield games. Even the lower bird, or whatever it's called now, has been slightly toned down. In my opinion, the game is quite different from previous Battlefield games. However, it does still have the core mechanics that a Battlefield game should have. Some vehicles, good gunplay, and a lot of fun to play with friends. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give the video a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see future content. Thanks guys, that's all for now.